So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, um, and I'd like to welcome you aboard Highlang Airways. So, I'd firstly like to introduce myself. My name is Sarah, and I'm a senior member of cabin crew on board today. Today, you are also joined in the cabin by my colleagues, Singer, Ryan, and Carrie. So, if you do have any questions um, uh, whilst you're on board or you need any assistance, then please just as, don't hesitate to ask one of us as we walk through the cabin today. Hi, everyone. I'm Bruce, and I'm your pilot today with my co pilot, Ted Lauren. So, if we get lost on the way, we won't stop and ask for directions. However, I am pleased to say we have the perfect weather for takeoff, with a slight southwesterly wind and a smooth warm weather front approaching to help take us all the way across the network. I will be in touch with more information later. But for now, I shall leave you in the hands of the cabin crew to tell you more about your flight today. So on behalf of the pilot and my team, I'd like to welcome you on board. Um, now, as the aircraft is being prepared for departure, I would like to share with you a brief history of Highlang Airways and how it came into being. Um, and at that point, we will then take, take a short flight to Lacassi for our first stop. So, first of all, I want to tell you a little bit about the aircraft you're in today. This aircraft is around 2 metres wide and currently 3.5 metres long. The name Highlang means lost in Malay, and there are three destinations which we currently fly to, which are Lacassi, Ruang and Tempat which are Malay words for location, space, and place. And we guarantee to get you there in just under four minutes. So Highlang Airways is also passionate about preserving the planet for the next generation. So the inside shell of the aircraft uses cardboard um, and black paper, as well as additional foam board fins for security and also for recycling purposes. Now, as the CEO of the aircraft um, grew more interested in the sculptural possibilities of the, fo of the photo of photography, the outside of the cabin now uses rolls of photographic paper. So Highlang Airways does insist that you keep your boarding card with you at all times, as they will be required at passport control, as at that point we shall be outside of the EU somewhere across the vast network. So Highlang Airways began its development in 2013. It was launched in May 2015 and is the newest airline on the market today. It was the brainchild of artist Sarah Crew, as you can see in the photograph here, who during her two-year masters became obsessed with our ability to get lost, or whether we can, and also through technology, as well as seeking to understand our changing experience of lam landscape in both the physical and the virtual environment. She found a powerful triangle was developing between the human, animal, and technology, which has now become cemented at the core of her research process and interest. She remains curious and passionate about the role and experience of interaction between the audience and the artwork, and is always seeking to play between this, with the space between reality and fiction, virtual and physical, physical, and the nuances that arise between these. So to explore the physical changes to our landscape in terms of land reclamation, she took herself around the globe in the name of research, not in the name of holidays. Um, so she firstly visited Singapore, um, and then Kochi in southern India, and ended up at Two Tree Island in South End on Sea on Essex when she ran out of money. <laughs> so since her inaugural flight in May 2015 from King's Cross, over 2,000 passengers have now willingly taken flight without ever leaving the ground. So this fascination with flight and our changing experience of the landscape began way back in 2006 at the end of her undergrad course. At the time, she was particularly, particularly anxious um, in lots of discussions in the media regarding new runways being proposed, and she kept wondering, where on earth does this leave space in the sky for the birds to fly from? So she took it herself, uh, on, on herself at that point to firstly learn how to fly, and to secondly in, be able to then encourage the birds in her um, care to then also take flight. In the years that followed, she continued to explore the delicate balance and connections between the human, the animal, and the landscape, as she also became increasingly disenchanted with the singular photographic image and the continual lack that this gave between her and, at times, the audience. And this led her to move outside of the photographic pr frame into film and performance, and also towards an artist book as a potential vehicle for a more successful way to visualise both her research-based practice and also try to, to bridge the gap that was existed between the photographic print and the audience. She also saw this project as an opportunity to try and conquer her long-standing fear of actual live pigeons, to see if she could cure it before her graduation. 
it's safe to say this wasn't achieved in the slightest. Um, but she did realise that without realising it at the time, she had started on a journey into a longer term project, wanting to understand the delicate balance between the human and animal in our changing relationship to the world and our environment. As we become ever closer and more connected to the animal, the landscape, and ultimately, ultimately the photographic image. So in wanting to explore how, where, and why this happens, and what conditions are required if, if we are all intending to survive in this volatile, tactile, 21st century landscape that we find ourselves in, this exploration of research really took off in her masters, no pun intended, which led to the creation of Highlang Airways as we know it today. So back in 2006, she ended up on a somewhat romantic notion of this bird woman who had possibly found a suitable amount of, to, of sky to fly from and so possibly had actually taken flight. Though I hasten to add that no glass was smashed by the artist or her assistant and Highlang Airways does not condone any violence either from um, or against its staff. Cabin crew, please prepare for gate departure. So today, ladies and gentlemen, should you like to read the artist book, Welcome, um, and take an intriguing step into suburbia, her Sim limited edition book is now available within duty free at a special offer price of just £15. Should you wish to purchase your own copy, then please speak to a member of the cabin crew as they pass through shortly. So the cabin crew will now complete their final onboard checks. Uh, please remember that all mobile phones must be in flight mode for the duration of the flight. Hi, this is Carrie. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just found a wallet in the aisle. Have you all checked your pockets? Good. Now that we have your attention, here is some important safety information. Can I also remind you that the overhead lockers are for soft articles only, so no bowling balls, alligators or watermelons should ever be placed there. Firstly, you will find the safety briefing card in your seat pocket. Please familiarize yourself with all of the instructions. Emoji icons are now added to assist you further. Whilst there may be 50 ways to leave your lover, there are only five ways out of this aircraft. There are two exit doors to the rear, two at the side of the aircraft, and one directly below your seat. To activate the individual exit door in an emergency, or if you simply don't want to experience Brexit, Please just pull the red, white and blue cord underneath your seat. Please now make sure you are aware of your nearest exit, as it may be behind you. And the crew will be using our own. In the event of a sudden drop in cabin pressure, oxygen masks will drop down from the ceiling. If you are traveling with children or someone who needs help, put your own mask on first, then help others. Lastly, the airport terminal has announced a report of a lost giraffe. Should you see the animal at any point whilst on board today, can I ask you not to approach it? Simply alert any member of the cabin crew, as we don't wish to cause a stampede. This concludes the safety demonstration. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you a very pleasant flight. Cabin crew, please take your seats for takeoff. Ladies and gentlemen, we found in the cabin lights for takeoff. If you wish to eat, please use the green lights in the panels above you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Halang Airways Flight H8618. Please can I ask you to take your seats and fasten your seatbelts, as today's flight time is around 3 minutes 0 hours and we'll be flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet. I would now like to direct you all to the television monitor at the front of the cabin and please pay attention to the following announcement. Hey, can anyone help me? It's just that in the sea of Vietnam, nothing is contained in the subsection. It's impossible to escape from here. In the top row, place nothing in all three spaces. Please hold firm at number HA12 stroke 816. I hope we meet again one day. Goodbye. Get lost. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Should you have any questions or require assistance on board today, we have cabin crew who speak English, Chinese, Spanish, Malayalam, Japanese, Klingon, Portuguese, Arabic, French, Korean, German, Singlish, and Java, and all will be happy to assist you. For now, please just sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. Wait, 
I'm still looking for sea sand. Check the UN convention of the norm of the sea. Or you could switch difficulty level to peace. Search the ocean for two days and we found no sign of them anywhere. Quickly, there's no escape. Torches are good, but I suggest cobblestone because it's very natural. Press F3, it's the sort of developer mode and you'll get coordinates on the screen. The public can inform all talent officers. I've shared this on my timeline on Facebook. Yeah, the story must go, because the part of time has gone, we must be ready to go away. Having long lost my internet connection, there is still no answers. Ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare our descent, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened and all carry-on luggage is stowed underneath the seat in front of you. We left the giraffe from the plane. Is it registered with lost property? Yes, it's plain side. We know there are adopted spaces. The decision of the collectors shall be final. It's just caught using a trap. Can't you smell that? Impressive. Surviving for 17 days without food or water and a 3,000 mile journey. It might have made a bed in one of the boxes of laundry linen. The brave flight attendants came to the rescue and took no credit at all. Even I'm waiting for the chance. And I know we'll be exactly right on time. I had never seen one, and it took me a few minutes to realize what it was. Removal interference and it shall come into force at once. A Google car, sadly, not they a lost giraffe. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lacassie Airport. Please be sure to take all your belongings with you. If you do leave anything, please make sure it's something that we'd like to have. Can I now ask you all to exit the aircraft to the front right of this cabin? And thank you for flying with Halang Airways. Please don't forget to hashtag your experience with us today. Goodbye. So as we arrive at La Cassie, there is just a short stopover before we fly on to Ruang, and there is enough time to share with you a unique offer that we have for all Highlang Airways passengers today. So as of March last year, I became the Managing Director for the Chaos Cosmetic Surgery Group, which was formed on an artist residency in Rio. During this residency, my specific area of focus became the fluid plasticity between the reclaimed land and the human body as a landscape of both, of both which can have parts artificially added or removed. Therefore, this new body of work ceases uh, ceased to use the premise of cosmetic surgery as a vehicle to, ex to explore and discuss the intense, intimate and multifaceted connections between both the human, the body and land reclamation, not forgetting, of course, the vital role of the animal within this network. So Rio was chosen as the launch pad for the organisation because of the extensive land reclamation along the waterfront at Parque de Flamengo. And today there is a very special offer, only available to Highlang Airways passengers. On finding a, prom a promotional bunny in the grounds of the clinic, you will receive an additional 10% off your first consultation. Hello again ladies and gentlemen. So today, we have a few options for your in-flight service. You can choose from a beautifully light low cassie chardonnay or a velvety rich Wuang Merlot. We also have crisp still water, which is bottled at source from the depths of the Lapasti Valley, here in the heart of low cassie. Should you wish to savor any of these drinks, please let one of the team know as they now pass through the cabin. While drinks are being served, in the background today we invite you to relax and listen to the tranquil sounds from the regional Locassi Junior Orchestra, who are playing a traditional piece of music. Highland Airways are proud to support local causes and charities to enable more children to realize their dreams.
So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and our drink service has now ended for today. Very short and sweet, I apologise on that front. So, now that the drinks have been served, if you've not decided whether to take up on our 10% fantastic offer that we have for you today, I want to tell you a little bit more about the clinic and hopefully change your mind. So, on arrival to the Chaos Cosmetic Surgery Clinic today, you are greeted by a very warm and inviting reception area, and there are also research folders that you can look at whilst you're waiting to see a specialist. My role within the company during the residency was to develop and design a space in which to highlight our new range of products, which utilise the latest land reclamation tools and techniques, um, as well as also trying to be as recyclable as possible, hence the cardboard, I wasn't just being crafty and cheap. <laughs> so this is our current price list, um, and you can pay in Brazilian reais or the local locasi currency if you wish. Now, there are a range of samples in these tester pots, um, should you wish to try any of the procedures when you visit today. The benefits of the treatments are also listed by each sample product, and if you want more details, then please do speak to the consultant artist in-house, and she can advise you further. So, this is a very popular treatment of the, of the moment, which is the rainbowing sculpt, uh, which will guarantee the removal of excavated sand from all of your crevices. However, my personal favourite is the rejuvenating potassium treatment, which promotes endangered animal regrowth, whilst also giving you a really beautiful, natural, healthy glow. So, during my time in Rio, the understanding of what it means to be in paradise and whose paradise, by what criteria, came up in conversation a lot. So I wanted to create a beautiful, leafy reception space with an attempt towards that vision and the potential for an oasis that leads just behind the curtain which is then full of um, slightly kitsch, very cheap, inflatable plastic rabbits with a slightly sexual overtone, I've been informed. Um, at a later date, that wasn't my intention. Um, and these couldn't be any further removed from the cute, fluffy bunny rabbit that we often picture in our mind's eye. So in doing so, I hope that we can enable a potential rethinking in our relationship to the animal and nature, as the decisions that we make today will have a lasting impact on the environment that we inhabit tomorrow. So to make the brand inclusive to both the human and animal population, some information, information posters are also placed at rabbit viewing level. So for me, there remains a deep need within my practice not just to leave the animal behind, not ignore it, or just assume that somebody else will save it. And this thread of thinking also runs through into my thoughts about the photographic image, as I believe the fragility of the animal and the image are in fact deeply intertwined. So as you leave the surgery today, if you are happy with your procedures or you'd like to check, please use one of the many mirrors that you'll find on your way out. So I'd like to thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed your very short flight today. And please do take up some of the great offers that we have for you in our clinic. Um, and there's just a final word from the pilot on today's flight. I hope you all had a pleasant flight, and we hope to see you on board again soon. Thank you very much for listening, ladies and gentlemen.